Hey guys, time for another movie review. This week is The Run Diary, which was released about a year ago. I had no idea this movie ever existed until now. It wasn't even on Netflix in Canada, so I had to watch it a different way. So you got Johnny Depp playing this failed of a novelist from the States who moves down to San Juan to work for this really crappy newspaper down there that is just really falling apart. The management is terrible. There's a really drunk guy that comes to work every day, drunk, obviously, and he's like, hey, yeah, me, screw you, I'm going to kill my boss. But then he doesn't get fired at all for some weird reason just because they need the manpower. I have no idea. It's really confusing, but he ends up working with uh, the guy, Johnny Depp guy, and he's just, I don't know, I really don't get that character. Anyway, there's also this other guy that provides him a, an apartment building there, and it's just, yeah, he does cockfights and stuff. Anyway, so this Johnny Depp character guy is just kind of sandwiched between the rich people of San Juan and the newspaper there, and then the poverty stricken people. He's just kind of like messed up, and it's all these conflicts and stuff that are getting in the way, and he's like, I had to write about the good stuff about Zanalan. I can't expose the poverty. And he's just like, no. And then the real estate agent guy's like, hey, I have a hot girlfriend. You do what I say. I bailed you out of jail as well. I can take that away. And he does that eventually at the very end of the movie-ish times. And then they finally get to where they want, uh, the Johnny Depp character and the guy who provides him the apartment building and that really drunk guy. But since the newspaper place is shut down, they have to raise some money somehow and they have to do that through cockfights and they get like six grand through that for some weird reason it's just really quick and like I was like whoa what the heck and then all of a sudden Ooh, I'm going back to NYC and then I marry Chanel which is the girlfriend of the real estate agent guy and that was just really confusing just really I don't know it just ends abruptly I guess or whatever and it just made me a little bit confused so that was the movie pretty much and you know I didn't enjoy it completely but you know some people made it much better and you know so I'd probably give this movie a good solid 5.5 out of 10 mustaches so what did you think about this movie leave your thoughts in the comments section below and I'll see you guys next week